Hello, I am David W. Parker, and this is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL series, episode 29. We're finally going to be looking at drawing shapes again, but this time we're also going to be looking a little deeper. We're going to be looking at dynamically assigning attributes, uniforms, and varyings to JSON objects in order to dynamically bind them. So let's we'll see what I mean by this. Uh, scrolling up to our GL utils here, you can see I've added a few more conveniences that weren't there before. So for example, we're going to set the vertex shader and the fragment shader as keys on the program when we're creating the program. Additionally, when we're getting the shader, we're going to set the attributes, varyings, and uniforms with attributes from source, varyings from source, and uniforms from source. Uh, so we'll have reference to those later. So we'll have vertex shader dot attributes, uh, vertex uh, shader dot varyings, and uniforms, etc. Uh, each of these methods are new, and they all call x from source given attribute, varying, or uniform. X from source is basically going to take the source code of the said shader and go ahead and parse it and find the keywords that we're looking for, varying attribute and uniform, and set those accordingly uh, on the value. So we'll have an array of uniforms, etc., etc. And let's go ahead and see if there's anything else that was new. I don't believe there was anything else new in this library for today. So. If we go ahead and look at the vertex shader here, we can see uh, we have a comment here. Attribute on a comment, but I still work. Then we have two different attributes, a position and a color, as well as one varying, which will get referenced in the fragment shader, v color. So we're going to go ahead and set the a position. We have a point size, it's just hard coded in. And then the varying color, which is going to get passed to the fragment shader. So how do these get consumed? Um, here we go, and we have all the normal stuff at the top here. And whenever we uh, we have this init buffers, what it's going to do is it's going to take all of the attributes, and for each attribute, we're going to have the program, and we're going to go ahead and identify and create a buffer within the program for each of these. And then what we're ultimately going to end up doing is uh, calling the render buffers. Um, on mouse down and, and draw. So we have each of these buffers created. We're clicking and what happens when we click is we're going to end up doing having a points array as well as these random colors that have been created uh, down here on the out mouse down. And we're going to render all of the arrays and what we're going to do is we're going to say hey we have points and we have triangles. Uh, we have two arrays here one is named a color and it's going to take in the colors array and another one for a position it's going to take the points array and we're going to have each of these set with the corresponding uh, size as well so what it ends up getting do doing here is we're going to render the buffers um, right here so this is where it gets interesting and we can consume our new uh, stuff from glutils so as you see we can have the attributes here again we're going to iterate through each of the attributes and then we're going to iterate through the array and based off the arrays, which is right here, a color and a position, uh, we'll find when they match names and if they do, we're going to go ahead and set the attribute location, enable it, and draw it out and then uh, have everything referenced. There's the size to most reference right here so that we know what we want to display. So it seems like a lot at first, but what it allows us to do is dynamically add new varyings, uh, new uh, attributes um, here, such that, and you see the attribute, this one doesn't get used because it's commented out, such that we don't have to de physically declare uh, a position and a color and all those other things like we had to do a few episodes ago. So this is a nice uh, dynamic way to do all of that. So what does this ultimately look like? we can now just draw. We have uh, different colors and positions being set dynamically and we're not actually referencing uh, those in a hard-coded manner anymore. And so these are all uh, just generated and uh, that's basically it. So uh, you'll note that we didn't have to do the same thing here for varyings because varyings automatically get passed into the fragment shader. Uh, so that's it for this episode. You can play with the different uh, draw arrays if you don't want to use triangles if you want to do something else um, you can try uh, drawing whatever you want so uh, that's it for this episode if you like what you saw today please subscribe like the video 
Go ahead and share on social media and go to programmingtil.com and sign up for my newsletter. Have a great one.